Sir, good morning. Thank you for taking our questions. Blaine Alexander with NBC News. Um, you mentioned that Georgians don't need a, a mandate to do the right thing. My question, though, is looking around, uh, just around different places in the state, there are still people who, despite your encouragement, are choosing not to wear masks. So my question to you is, is there a point at which you will go from encouragement to enforcement, to mandating? If one week from now, two weeks from now, observations show people still aren't wearing masks, are you open to changing your mind and making this a requirement, sir? Well, first of all, I can tell you what I've told people for months now is that I'll continue to listen to the guidance of Dr. Kathleen Toomey and her team every single day like we've done for months now. The second thing is, I'm sure you are aware, there's people that are on our roadways that don't follow the speed limit. So we have people that don't follow government laws and mandates. But when you have existing executive orders that have been on the books for weeks and for months now, that the local elected officials asked me for enforcement powers early on so they can enforce when they were so worried about this, they now have not been doing that. So to add another mandate that's not going to be enforced in communities that haven't enforced other orders, in my opinion, is a failed policy. And we shouldn't have to ask people to do the right thing. We need their help. We're asking them again for four weeks. You know, wear a mask, socially distance, wash your hands, and follow the guidance that Dr. Toomey and her team have given me to put out for months now. It worked before. You know, it worked in Albany, Georgia. You know, nobody really followed Albany. We obviously did. We were working with them 24-7, literally flying PPE down there, personnel and supplies, and General Cardin and Homer can speak more to that as well as Dr. Toomey about that response. But they were, they were as bad a hot spot as anywhere in the country when you look at the numbers, as bad as New York, New Jersey, wherever. And we didn't have a mandate down there. Nobody was even talking about a mandate there. My, my, my. I actually talked to the chairman of the commission down there and I asked him, I said, do you want me to take further action, you know, just regarding Albany and Doherty County? And he goes, no, I don't want to be singled out. We can tackle this problem at the local level. And they did. They did a great job. I guess just very quickly, sir, would not mandating it, though, at least send a stronger message, strengthen the message that you're already sending about the necessity of Well, masks. what kind of message does it send when you have mandates already that people aren't enforcing? It sends the message that the mandate doesn't mean anything. I'm asking people, you know, government is not going to be the answer to all people's problems. You know, I have grave concern about our young people and other people getting so reliant on the government that we lose what the basis of this country was found on, and that's freedom and liberty and opportunity for anyone, anyone. And everybody has that liberty to do the right thing right now, and I'm asking them to do it, and that's to wear a mask. But even before the whole mask issue came up, you know what works better than anything, better than a mask? Social distancing, and don't put yourself in a position um, where you can spread the virus.